Hi and welcome to this new small tutorial um, and today we learn how to create a four dimensional uh, box, a TARDIS like box. Uh, so to reproduce uh, that kind of uh, visual effect. So what I did is not really really pretty but so you know how to make uh, this kind of um, non-Euclidean <laughs> space. So let's um, do that again. So, new composition, and I will create this composition with a camera and a material bank. Uh, so, these two options here, all right. And let's start by creating our little setup. So, this will be our box. So, first, in the material bank, I will create a surface renderer, which I call white, which will be my default material, because I don't want to work uh, with PBR, uh, because for me, it's uh, a pain in the ass, uh, as it is. Uh, and it's easier to work with a surface renderer, at least in uh, for doing this kind of effect. So let's create a box. Here I will list this box in the center of the universe. It will be easier for me to manipulate the values here afterward. And I will uh, put everything around uh, my box. So let's create a plane, which will be my mountain. Okay. Let's put a big mountain. And I want my um, window, my non Euclidean window on this side of the box. Um, so, all right, let's put the mountain like here. Okay, and now let's put a little bit of a displacement map. So, distort this place. And on the displace, we are going to use a layer mask. And for the layer mask, Let's search here the height small a map, which is uh, currently inside the small uh, standard pack. All right. So now I have a shitty mountain because I have uh, not enough precision of my plane. So let's put that a little bit higher like that. Let's augment a little bit the displays. All right. Okay, should be all right. Now what I want to do is to be able to see that mountain when I look inside my box uh, like that. So what I'm going to do the, to do that is first to tear down one of the side of my box here, this part, uh, to replace it by a plane. So let's uh, select the box, go into the advanced mode, and you see here that uh, you can uh, put some uh, face uh, out if you select one of them. So here in my example, I tear down the Z face, uh, face, this one. So if you do not see inside the box, it's, it's because by default my material is in front uh, side. If I put that in back side, you see only the back of my box. And here I will uh, remain, uh, leave that in front. And let's create a plane, another plane that will be my window. Okay. So this window will be oriented as 90 degrees. 90 degrees. No, okay, this one maybe minus 90. Okay, let's put that again. It's always the last fucking value. Okay, this one. 90 degrees. And let's put that as uh, always the last fucking value as 0.5 meters. Okay, now what I'm going to do in this uh, window is create a new material, right click from the right surface, and this I'm going to call it window. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right now my material for this side of the box is a white uniform map, so let's do Control Shift C to turn that into a composition. And let's put the mountain inside the composition. Okay. Here you have some warning because it says that your composition is not at the same ratio as a, as a, it's not at the same ratio as a camera. So you can leave it that way, or if you want, you can put that in uh, the same ratio as the parent uh, composition ratio. So. Uh, you have no issue. And the thing here, let's, let's go back in, let's go that view. Okay. The thing is that this camera is now viewing 
every one of your three objects. So if I put my uh, view into ViewCam here, and I move around my box, you see that uh, I'm using this camera both in this composition here, which, which contain only the mountain, uh, let's put into the mode, and if I put my view cam here, you see that I'm using this camera both for this composition and for my uh, main composition. So you see that something is already happening when I go around my box, uh, you see that I'm something is happening, but it's not quite nice because we need some uh, little other thing uh, that we need to add. But first, let's put uh, another plane here uh, in the bottom of my uh, box here, and let's add a little uh, point light. Okay. And you see that also my geometry here is lightened by uh, my uh, point light that I have here, which I actually do not really like. Um, I would have preferred that the light are different on both uh, different compositions, but well, that's the way it is. And let's add another light here. Okay. And this light, let's go into this composition in 3D and this light here where it is it's here it does nothing I don't understand why well so what I miss is to add a little attribute modifier which will be the UV camera mapping and I will use my uh, same camera to do the camera mapping And let's shut on the, all the lights here. Let's put inside of this my mountain a little bit further away. And with a little less uh, display, so we see better the mountain. Okay. And let's augment a little bit the size of the photo here. And inside this composition, I will just add a tree layer, which will be a geosphere with a, let's view this composition. So let's put a geosphere at the center, a big geosphere with a renderer, a new surface renderer that I will put only on back and with a flood shading. Okay, and let's reduce a little bit the size of the geosphere just to have a background okay let's try like that and let's put the mountain closer to my okay to my plane and now you have it let's reactivate this point light so again i don't get why this fucking point light is having this effect it was not the case on my previous uh, attempt mm -hmm. So I don't quite figure out why it's uh, going like that, but well. So you know, I have this kind of effect uh, that has been made, and on the side, ah, I'm on, this, on the side of the geosphere here. Okay, let's take the geosphere a little bit more on this side. Maybe if I go back into the mode and I change a little bit the view of my camera. Well, at least you see how to create this effect. Let's duplicate this point light and switch this one on the back and tear down this awful spectra. Okay. And then you have it, and as again, as uh, always, I will put uh, the link to this composition uh, for Dimension Box, maybe on this one, on the uh, in the link on the description, and uh, then if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. See you later.